hi today we are playing once more hearts of iron 4 and this time we will also play as finland but with uh, finlandia focus 3 mode <clears throat> we can actually rally the monarchist and get house romanov back to power and we have option to go for the russian drone which i intend to do so Let's get this started. First focus should be remedy old wounds, for this will give us political power, base stability and war support. And civil war fought in 1918 has still left its mark on Finland. Old borders still divide people and if Finland is to survive the coming storm it must unite once more. Great. And let's start developing guns and support equipment. Few convoys, well actually just one. For the research, let's go with the uh, basic choices here. And let's build one civilian factory and two military factories. Now let's group our army. Under the command of Erik Heinrich, 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 however you are supposed to pronounce that name, and the field marshal shall be Mannerheim. Let's send these guys to the Lappi, or well, actually to Petsamo. And let's merge the navy. Do search and destroy in the Baltic Sea. We also have few air forces or planes. They are quickly assigned. Good. Now then. These focuses will be completed quite fastly. Which I really appreciate. And now it's time to give new trade to... Eric, winter expert. So these guys will get his gold acclimatization quicker. And now we just wait for this to mm, be done. Only a few more days. Good. Now we will go for debate new tactics. We are at crossroad. Our military officers are locked in a heated debate at what direction our milita military should take. Arguments are flying from both sides. It's up to us to decide. Plus the army experience and one research bonus for land doctrine. Nice. And for my political advisor I will choose silent workhorse. Nice. And I'm going to edit my infantry template a little bit. I'm gonna remove this one infantry to get the combat width of 10, which is much better than 12. And the remilitarization of Rhineland. The Spanish Civil War. Oh, I forgot. Adaptable trait for Eric. And organization first for Mannerheim. Good. Debate new tactics is ready. Now let's go for National Defense University. It will give us one research slot. And also National Spirit Theoretical Tactics. By creating a university with the sole purpose on education our officers should allow for more in-depth study of our military doctrine and equipment. That's great. And now to edit this template a little bit, remove. We will also get back some guns and manpower. Now for mechanical computing. Uh, 
And I suppose now that we have some command power, I could give it to some guys. Well, like Wilho Petter Nenonen, take camouflage expert. And well, I suppose we could give Fortress Buster to this guy. I don't know how this Gavinger uh, trait works, so I'm never using it. I suppose you need those. What companies those? They are logistics company to actually gain. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maintenance company to get something from. Yeah, capture a show. Good. Yeah, I lost the thought. So we did National Defense University. Now we go for prepare for elections. Elections are nearing us once again and all parties are preparing for them. We will get extra po political power for it. And now let's get uh, this anti-air artillery. And now for dispersed industry. What else? We could take also captain of industry. Let's do that. So this civilian factory will be done at least at some point. I hope. Hmm. Is there anything else I need to do? Not really. German Reich is doing West Wall. Soviet Union is doing Stalin Constitution. And it... Hmm, hard to say which one is going to win. Republican Spain or Nationalist Spain. Now as the prepare for elections is done, we will rally the monarchists. A strong nation needs a strong leader, and the strong, strongest leaders are the kings and the kings and emperors of old. I suppose that's meant to be and. However, while we cannot get them leaders, perhaps their descendants would accept our service. We gain national spirit Kalevi Jaakola. Daily support for the unaligned party. And now what are we researching? A lot of stuff from industrial things. So let's get industrial company. Good, that's done. So what now? Land doctrine. And I will go for trench warfare. For once more, we need to hold the line against Soviet Union in this region. And then we will start invading them when they have run out of manpower and German Reich attacks them. And I don't actually believe that they will run out of manpower. So yeah, there's also some other interesting monarchist options here like House of Hesse, which is German house. And also Swedish house, House Bernadotte, Bernadotte. But let's go for House Romanov. And that is done. Now House Romanov. Romanov dynasty is most well known for being the last Russian Tsar. Tsar. And while many were killed during the revolution, many more survived. We should respect this old dynasty that unintentionally created the modern Finnish state. Great. Factory output increases. And Vladimir Kirillovich Romanov becomes leader of the non-aligned party. And this Vladimir guy was actually born in the Grand Duchy of Finland. Which was the autonomous part of the Soviet Union. Um, no, I mean Russian Empire, sorry. Now we could get construction, even though it's a little bit ahead of time, but I want to finish what I'm building.
I would like to get this improved worker conditions, but it would increase too much our consumer good factories and I believe we would have only two left for building stuff and that's horrible. Now for military theorist. House Romanov is done and here he is. Great. And well, strengthening the Finnish throne, we must secure Finland and ensure ten, that no communist will ever be able to finish off the Romanov line. I see, reform Finland. Mm. I believe we want to take the, retake the Russian throne. Gain scores, cause for all of Soviet Union. Sounds good to me. As ex expected, Kirillovich loads the Soviet re re regime, regime and wishes to reclaim his family's old throne. Perhaps we can help him. Certainly. Alright, so the anti-air artillery is done. I could also go for radio. And I will also start producing those artillery right away. For it is much cheaper to produce than towed artillery. Well, I mean, just one tungsten less. And, well, yeah, it doesn't need at all tungsten. But it will also give us some piercing. So, that's nice. And this focus is almost done. Dispersed industry is done. Let's go for improved machine tools. Mm, good. And maybe we should get prepared the army. Military factories and more population to be recruited. Yeah, let's take this. Taking on Soviet beast is a challenge and in order to prepare ourselves for this task, we must ensure that our military is motivated and ready. Good. Mechanical computing is done. And we can go for support weapons, but I will actually go for industry first. Because at the moment we wouldn't benefit from support weapons, but we will benefit from a dispersed industry. anti communist Pact, let's join it. And prepare the army is ready. Now, well, this one would be good. Royal Mines. For an army to function, it needs to have weapons, and these weapons require metals to build them. Let's get this one now. Because we really need resources. As you can see, in the basic game, Finland has really limited resources. Unlike Sweden. And well, now we could go for partial mobilization. And we will do that. Royal Mines, it sounds a bit funny, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so these guys are ready for this climate and I would, well, might as well change these to my basic infantry divisions. It might take all my manpower, but that's okay. Let's also add this recon company to it. And should I get some land doctrines going, maybe? 
Now, what else do I need? Mobilize Lotta's Ward. Mm, maybe not yet. Industry, perhaps. Reorganize the army. That would be also good to get this design new rifles. Yeah, well, actually, let's go for the new way. More and more of our officers agree that static fortification is no longer all that is required for strong defense. They claim that highly mo mobile infantry supported with precision artillery can deal as much damage as a well-placed machine gun emplacement. Yep. All of the manpower is soon gone. Hmm. Construction 2 is done. Now let's go for support equipment. As we have nothing better to research. Hmm. Then we could get this interwar artillery. Yeah, let's get it. German Reich is doing army innovations, and Soviet Union is doing the Great Purge. And it seems to me that nationalist, nationalist Spain is about to win. So the new way is done. We could go for mobilized a lot as well. Hmm, but do I really need it right now? Well, actually, yeah, let's take it. An auxiliary paramilitary organization for women. Lottaswert organization allows us to replace a number of men in non-competent roles with women. Gain base war support and more population to recruit. Recruit. That's nice. And we add support anti-air. We should also start producing artillery. Damn, like this, good. Even one is enough, so it will increase this efficiency or during this time. And damn, misclicked. Um, small arms company. That will do for now. I'm not certain that I will benefit from excavation, but I might do it. Yeah, let's get excavation one. We need all the resources we can get. And since these guys are, well actually they are not completely used to cold weather, so let them stay there for now. And now let's go for reorganize the army. Yeah, I forgot to read that. Our military has become too fixated on the on the old ways, if our military is to survive in the modern day, we must reorganize it and hope we are not too late. Mm, no template, yeah. This is almost done. Amelia Earhart disappears. A loss for aviation. Mm, mm, yeah, let's go for equipment effort. By focusing on what the common soldier needs, we can ensure them to be an effective fighting force. And now I will also add the support artillery.
so the Chinese United front is here. What's German Reich doing? KDF Wagen and the Republicans are still holding, but not for long, I believe. Mm. Let's get support weapons too. And maybe we can start training troops. Just once. Petsamo, go to Eric. So we lose, lost some experience with these guys, but we can always retrain them. Now for designing new rifles. The weapons of our soldiers, while effective, are not operating as well as we had hoped to fix. This we must design our own rifles instead of relying on other nations to do it for us. And this will give us National Spirit Finnish rifles, production cost minus 10% and winter attrition minus 10%. Sounds good to me. Now then, we can get this Mannerheim Army Defense Genius, which is this guy here. An old guard, brilliant strategist, war hero that he truly is, cavalry officer, defensive doctrine and so on. He will be our good defensive field marshal. Um, let's cancel these two lines. Is it not cold yet in Petsamo? Apparently not. Oh yeah, they uh, all lost some of this cold acclimatization because I added new stuff to them. So I don't need Molotov cocktail right now. So we might go for... Um, Revitalized industry. Our industry has become stagnant and underachieving. We must promote innovations and revitalize the Finnish industry. Yeah, indeed. Grand battle plan is done. Let's go for prepared defenses. And I will start building these forts now. Here and here. This place. And this place and this. Good. Excavation is done. Let's go for computing machine. Little bit ahead of time, but it's all right. So the Nationalist Spain won, that's good for us, because we are fighting at least side by side with the German Reich against Soviet Union, eventually. First we will be alone, but we can manage that. And it seems that we can get a few more lines getting going on. Now do I want paper mills or... Expand VKT, which is Valtion Kiväritehdas State Rifle Factory. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for... Let's see my production. Okay, so I need to go for this for now. Founded in 1926, Valtion Kiväritehdas manufactures most of our rifles. The factory is no longer able to satisfy the needs of our military and needs to be expanded. Indeed, indeed. It's still not cold in Finland. 
for some reason. <coughs> well, now it is. But look at how fast this guy gets this gold acclimatization. Oh, they got new troops here. And they are done now. I will separate them from this army. Give them to Vilhopetter Nenonen. And let's get this nine nice insignia to him. And assign him to to fallback line here. And here as well. I will also choose blue color for him. Almina. Nine, four, five. Okay, few divisions here. Damn. Here and Suomi kone pistoli. Let's research it. Mm, grand assault. Expand. PKT is done. Now for paper mills, I believe we need a um, few more civilian factories. Seven, six, five, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Construction three. It's ahead of time, but that's all right. Fort level level ones are so quick to build, so I'm building them right now and let our focuses handle the rest of them. Let's get army regrouping genius. And the paper mill is, is done. Molotov cocktail. I suppose I could take it now. But then again also this would be nice. Let's go for Molotov cocktail now. Tanks are the biggest threat to our infantry, which we cannot counter easily. To fix, fix this, we will provide our forces with close-range AT weapons that is cheap to produce and easy to use. My mouth is getting a bit dry here. Might be a good time to end the episode soon. But let's keep playing for a just a moment. This game is a bit addictive, addictive, whatever. Let's get second army regrouping guy, but he's expert. And infantry offens offensive, that's good. Molotov cocktail is done. Do I need to get the forts done quickly? Perhaps. Okay, so one month, two month. Yeah, we should have one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Well, 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 well. Hmm. What to do? Let's go for the best defense. It is clear that our military must be focused on defending our nation from outside threats. <clears throat> we should keep expanding our defensive doctrine to be up to date. Okay, National Spirit Motti Tactics, which grant, grants defense plus 5%. Hmm. 
Hmm. We could also start training these guys. Helme. The best defense is done, so now let's go for either dig a trench or maybe we should start fortifying our places. Uh, let's do dig a trench. To increase our defensive capabilities, we should make, uh, make preparations for extensive fortification effort. By stockpiling materials and training more military engineers, we can drastically cut back the time it takes to turn a planned defensive line into an actual one. Yes, but yeah, now it's time to end the episode. Thank you for watching and bye bye.